Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I feel like I should share this update because it sounds urgent. Okay? I can get my mouse to cooperate. It's called Tsunami Red Alert. All right, now this is on Gihon Journal. Gihon, it sounds Jewish. G-H-I-O-N. Journal. Tsunami Red Alert, a leading indicator of a catastrophic tidal wave emerges, emerges at La Palma Volcano. I found the sun signal right under one from off-grid desert farming by Paul and Adrian. He's doing a live stream right now How bad on how bad the tsunami, the volcano is. He has also mentioned that according to some sources, DARPA is planning to blow up the volcano to create the tsunami today. He said, I didn't do an emergency update on it. I think he heard it last night, late, late. Some people were saying, you need to put this up. You need to put this up. But he didn't want to be a chicken little. The sky is falling. The sky is falling and have it not be right. On the other hand, is it right for us to sit on any information we find that could be important let us pray that anybody in the way of a tsunami will either be taken up before it happens or they get out of the way or they meet god at death's door pray however you're led let me continue a leading indicator of a catastrophic tidal wave emerges at la palma volcano live building sized lava blocks fall from la palma volcano as I've detailed below, and you can watch this on YouTube, this volcano and ensuing tsunami is not a natural phenomenon, nor the work of God, but the works of Lucifer, Luciferian globalists. Well, I have you to know that anything they do that goes the way they want is only because God let it as part of his judgments. Let me make that perfectly clear. Our God is still on the throne and he will not allow anything to happen that they are planning if it is not his timing. Okay, let me continue. Well, Miles, please act right. I have nothing else left in me but to quickly turn my hands to God and pray for his intervention as I did in my latest article I published this morning, and that is underlined where you can look, click on it and read it if you want. I hope everyone else does the same and pray for our redemption because no weapon formed by two, uh, by NWO Nazis shall prosper against us if we believe in our hearts that love can overcome evil. Not if we believe in our, if we know that our God is on the throne and won't allow it if it's not his will. We must always pray God's will be done, brothers and sisters. We can love one another to death and not change the will of God. It says, may God be with us. And then they show people of different, like a Muslim, a Buddhist, this one's probably supposed to be a Christian. Um, that one's probably a Muslim. That one's a Buddhist. I don't know about this one with the white thing on his head. And this one over here is Jewish. Update Thursday, October 14th, 7.58 a.m. Barely able to sleep through the night with thoughts of tens of millions of people who reside in coastal areas being kept in the dark about a potentially catastrophic tsunami that might be headed their way sometime today. My eyes have been glued on the live stream of the La Palma volcano and that is underlined as a link you can go to. I dozed off a couple of times only to wake up around 5.30 this morning and fix my attention on the volcano again. What I witnessed send Sent, should say sent, shivers down my back. The telltale signs that I mentioned during the update from last night were taking place in real time as thick gray to blackish smoke 
was emerging from the volcano's mouth. I posted the tweet below to warn people about this fact and to highly advise them to leave the coastal areas. A few minutes after I posted the tweet, the camera angles turned and the volcano was no longer visible. I am sure that the change of the camera angle was pure coincidence. But now people have no way of getting any type of reading of what might be taking place on Canary Island. This is further proof that our powerful agencies within the government, media, corporate complex, are determined to keep people in the blind in order to potentially condemn millions of people to their graves. His tweet says, and this is Teodros, T-E-O-D-R-O-S-E, last name, F-I-K-R-E, Fikra Merriam, M-A-R-I-A-M, Fik. Merriam. I pray that I'm wrong, but the latest developments at La Palma Volcano is truly worrying. One of the factors I mentioned in the latest update of hashtag Broken Sparrow is the emergence of I think he means thick gray to blackish smoke that is currently happening. And there's a video here. You can. There's two videos on the, under this link. What the quote elites unquote are doing is in no different than what was done to second and third class passengers on the Titanic. They are locking the bottom 99% in place in the coastal areas so the rich and affluent can get out of Dodge. I mentioned during yesterday's update that there have been droves of helicopters flying due west and due north from D.C. They are taking dignitaries to either DWI, DWI, probably uh, deep underground military bases, or Andrews Air Force Base to be flown out of danger while the tens of millions of men, women, and children face the prospect of being washed out to sea by killer tsunami that DARPA has been engineering ever since the volcano erupted on September 19th. Well, this thing has been being talked about for at least 10 years, okay? At least two people have been shown by God that there are nukes planted along the eastern coast that are going to go off to make sure the tsunami is huge and does its thing. I believe it. Sounds just right, just about right. Yeah, if you didn't know it, that's exactly what happened on that ship that the captain said not even God can cause this ship to crash. Yeah. The Titanic. The Titanic was built and made to crash to get rid of the elites that were standing in the way of creating the Federal Reserve. There's a little bit of history for you. I bet you didn't know that. And if you did, good for you. You're doing your research or listening to those who are telling it to you. I'm going to end this here. And say, I pray you'll uh, click on, I hope, let me take that, back up. You can click on the link if you'd like to know more or watch the videos. I pray that you are not in harm's way. And that you will take this all to the Lord as to what you should do further, if anything. Should you warn people again? Have you warned them already? Are you in harm's way? What will you do? You better get your answers from the Lord. Trust in no man. Not even me. Not anybody that you think. Not Paul and Adrian. Not anybody on YouTube. You trust in God. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him. And He, He 
will direct your paths. All right, with that I'll say, where's my camera? Bye for now. I hope to meet you soon, up there or back here. Bye bye, have a wonderful day. Stay in prayer as you're able.